first time in over a decade, Uzer and Monaco met in a Liga Ubrich's encounter on Wednesday at Stade de la Dijon. The club from Burgundy were unbeaten in their previous three home fixtures in the top flight and slipped into the relegation zone after Brest's win just before the World Cup break. Those strong form on home soil was mirrored by the visitors' record on their travels, Limoriask having won five of their seven domestic away matches this season as they climbed to the fringes of the European spots. Both had suffered defeat in their final outing before the break, though, and the opening exchanges of the contest were cagey. That was until the hosts were given a golden opportunity to take the lead when Elliot Matazzo collided with Lassine Sinioko inside the box. And by Nyang stepped up to take the resulting penalty. And fired it straight down the middle to give Ozer a valuable lead. Senegalese scored four in 45 minutes in a friendly with Mess during the break. This one just about creeping in despite Alexander Nouvel getting a hand to it. But Monaco searched for a swift response before half time and were duly awarded a penalty of their own. Didier Mensa sticking out a leg to clumsily trip to Kumi Minamino. The referee pointing to the spot for the second time. Through legs and then pushing out. Sam Benyeda assuming the responsibility and confidently sending Benoit Costil the wrong way for his seventh league goal of the season. Monaco had won three of their previous four encounters against Agia in the league, having won just four of the first 19 in the 21st century. An example of the turning tide between the two clubs in recent years, and the turning of the tide in this particular game continued in the second half with the goal scorer benched. There was more intent on display at both ends and it was Monaco who made the most of it, taking deserved lead shortly before the hour mark. Alexander Golovin luring in the Ozer defence before sliding in 17-year-old Elias Benseguer, who slotted coolly under Costil to make it a dream debut for Le Monégasque. Great work from the Russian and the teenager with composure far beyond his years. Rosaire responded well and would equalise ten minutes later. Hamza Saki's delivery diverted into his own net by Yusuf Fafana. Tough couple of weeks for one of the players on the pitch as France lost the World Cup final to Argentina. Both sides went in pursuit of a late winner with 15 minutes remaining and it was Monaco's latest teenage sensation who had produced the goods. Ben Seguir with a stunning long range strike in the 85th minute. The second youngest player to score a top flight brace for Monaco behind a certain Thierry Henry and the youngest for any French side to score a brace on their debut in the last 75 years. Certainly shades of Kylian Mbappe about the finish and it was enough to secure the three points for Monaco leaving them within touching distance of the Champions League places whilst Ozer remain inside the relegation zone dropping another spot to 18th.